Rivers. All right, we just crossed over into Canada. You can see, because here in Canada, you could do 100 legally, but that's kilometers per hour. Michelle is just as cool as a moose. Hello world, it's your Uncle Heavy. Today I'm on location on Niagara on the Lake in Ontario, Canada. Today, we're gonna take a trip around the general area and visit some of the sites that I've missed seeing in the past couple years during the whole situation. Some repeated places, some new places. It's gonna be a cool little adventure. No tickets required today. Let's go see what kind of trouble we can get into. Do you come along? So here we are again in Queenston Heights Park in Ontario, Canada. We're back to see Brock's Monument here. It's been a couple years. We're here to check it out. Breaking through the tree line, we can see Brock's Monument up at the top there. Now, there's actually a platform that you can walk up there. Right now we're debating whether or not we're gonna make the climb. I think it's like 280 steps up there. <laughs> so Brian and I are gonna do it. We're gonna walk, how many steps is it to the top? 235. 235 steps to the top. All right. I did this before in time lapse and I'm not gonna go ahead and do it again. We'll just stop the camera till we get to the top. I think this is the top. Yes, we've reached the top. All right, looks like this is the top here. Yeah, that was a long climb. Okay, so here we are up at the top. It was worth the 230 steps of the climb because these views are amazing. I want to show you some of these views. Looking out this window, just across, that's New York State. And if you look, that's Art Park. Okay, over there, that is the entrance to the Queenston Lewiston Bridge, which we crossed over coming in. And we're probably gonna be crossing that going back. So in an earlier vlog, I'm gonna go ahead and give myself another thankless plug. I covered the history of who General Brock was and why he was a hero to the country of Canada and his remains are interred in the base of this monument that we are at the top. Just above me is the statue of General Brock and I'll get a shot of that from the ground once we're done but the views from up here are absolutely spectacular. Now we get to go down 230 steps that way. Even having gravity on your side it's, it's a long walk down. I see light. I think I see sunlight. Oh uh, yes, here is actually Brock's arm from the original statue that was struck by lightning at one point and fell to the ground. They've since replaced it and put in a lightning deferral system, or a lightning rod system, but I always like to stop and check this out because it's just so cool. Here's some comparison of the size of Brock. So we were actually right here, but you could see the statue extends further up there. Last time I was here, I didn't really get all that great of a shot from the outside. So that's, that is the structure that we just climbed. We climbed all that column to the top, just above that platform. Speaking to the docent inside, he informed us that they believe somewhere around where this wreath is, below this structure, is where General Brock is interred. They're not positive because they said over the years, it's not specific where, but they believe it to be closer to the north side of this. Now I'm trying to shoot not into the sun, but you can see the very, very tippy top of Brock's monument there. We were just below there. From this angle, I'm not fighting the sun, but you could see how tall that actually is up there. And we were right up there, that platform, you could see the windows what we were looking at, but this is the height that we just had to climb. That was a bit of a climb. So coming up once again on the amazing Niagara floral clock. Coming up on the clock, and it appears that the clock is not functioning. This is the greatest secret that so many people miss. They leave this open in the back. All those tourists are up in the front and they don't know that this opens up in the back to the mechanics of the floral clock. 
Now this, I don't know why it's not running right now, but this is what drives that clock out there. You can see there's a dial there. That is actually what activates the hourly and quarterly chimes. But I don't know why it's turned off today. I've been to this clock several times before. I have no idea why it's not running today. Maybe it's a clock holiday, who knows. But if you look overhead, there's all kinds of power lines. If I go that way, you'll see where the hydroelectric plant is on the Canadian side. It goes out to the country. So stopping once again to visit the Whirlpool Aero Car. It's currently on a travel to the other side. And what's interesting about this, so we've got the Niagara River comes down this way and goes into this pocket here, forms the Whirlpool, and then continues on that way. And a lot of people think that this is actually traveling across from Canada to the US, but that in fact is Canada over here, where, and we're sitting on Canada. This land here is the US. It's also home to probably one of the largest souvenir stands this side of the Niagara River. Lots of great Canadian stuff, lots of great Niagara Falls gifts. Lots of both, lots of maple leaves. So this is Niagara on the Lake. It's a beautiful little hamlet here, right on Lake Ontario. Lots of great shopping, lots of great things to take a look around at. And you can see there's just people everywhere here. So this is gonna be a first for me. I have never had this is, if you think about Canada, one of their dishes is definitely poutine and we are doing it right now. We got a pizza here too. Not very Canadian, but I'm all about this poutine. We're gonna try this poutine right here. So a lot of vloggers wear different kinds of hats that kind of makes the channel, the brand. I was thinking maybe something like this. Man. Yeah, although I might consider the bowler hat. But I'm not gonna wear this everywhere I go. That wouldn't. It only works here. It works here, but. I could always try the straw fedora because there's no other vlogger that wears one of these, right? Oh, just the band? Definitely nobody wears one like this, right? Yeah, this one's way too big. This is the Prince of Wales Hotel. It's a very, very old. It's been here for many, many years. And they do have an amazing restaurant and pub. So I think we're going to come here, get a little bit of drinks, maybe a little bit of a snack. So even after the poutine, we had to try this. It's a nice charcuterie board here. We're just kind of sitting here. The Prince of Wales, enjoying a couple drinks. Now we're gonna try it. So we've got a little prosciutto, gorgonzola, and homemade mustard here. Oh my God, the mustard is really good. If you guys don't try it, try the mushroom. So I got a little brie cheese on here too. Really good. So I'm going deep. I'm, I went like full on with the mustard on this one. It's like pure horseradish, so I'm going deep. Here we go. Wait for it. Wait for the horse. There's the horseradish. Oh! I'm not acting here. This is... Wow. That's the spicy mustard. So what are you drinking again here, Michelle? It is the Canadian Campfire Cafe. All right. And it's like whiskey, 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 and coffee, right? Something like uh, that? With whipped cream and cinnamon. Got it. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. This is, was a very vloggy vlog. It's just kind of a recording of the things I sort of do when I have friends out of town or sometimes when Michelle and I are bored and like to take an international trip over to Canada. So. That's basically it. And of course, as always, gotta wrap up the video with Little Peak and Niagara Falls. That's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I really enjoyed making it. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to stay tuned for our next episode coming out really soon. Till next time, signing off from Niagara on the Lake, Ontario, Canada. Bye bye.